Hello everyone, it's Mary Blocker from Mary's Card Cafe, and today I am sharing two sensational slimline cards with you, featuring the beautiful Butterfly Brilliance um, suite of products. That includes a stamp set of these fantastic, beautiful, detailed butterflies. The Butterfly Wishes dies, and the beautiful, beautiful d designer series paper that is with it. So beautiful, beautiful. Look at all of these soft, wonderful colors. I just love the ombres and the cloudy-like pages that remind me of cotton candy. Just beautiful, beautiful things. You can see some great things like magenta madness and crushed curry, mint macaron, um, seaside spray, just some beautiful colors. I think this one piece right here is like one of my favorites. So we have two sensational cards. Now with your butterfly fly brilliance, you've got these fantastic butterflies and things, but you know we need sentiments. So today we're gonna use the best year stamp set I love this one. All these different fonts, different uh, greetings. It'll make it terrific. So let me show you real quick before we get started because now these products are available now to customers. You have the Butterfly Brilliant Stamp Set. You have the Butterfly Brilliant Wings Dies. Butterfly uh, Bijou six by six designer series paper and there's also this natural touch specialty paper you get two pieces 12 by 12 or you can get the whole suite of products and that's the way i would go you just need it all <laughs> you just really need it all remember you get a 10 percent discount on the bundled saving and this will be um valid all the way through um uh doo -doo 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 -doo, valid through the rest of the annual catalog season okay and so available now. Now, the only other thing is the consumable products, the designer series paper and the natural touch specialty paper, those are while supplies last. So when these sell out, they're gone. So you will want the six by six designer series paper. In fact, you probably want two packages of this paper. It is so much fun. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna show you kind of the, how I decided on my measure of my Slimline card. I know everybody has these legal size envelopes somewhere um, in your house. And so we talk about it being a letter size. Um, that's great. So all I did was take a look at measuring what was the envelope size and it's four and an eighth by nine and a half. So that tells me that I need to just think about my quarter inch smaller or an eighth inch smaller when I'm doing my card base so that it fits nicely in the envelope in my layers. So my card base is cut at eight inches by nine and a quarter, scored at four. Now I'll have these all on my, um, my blog for you to see with all those details. So let's take a look at that. So I have my, my base layer. And again, I said I cut that by eight by nine and a quarter and then I just scored right at four. So just an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock works perfect. Now for the layer, I have two basic white pieces for layers, one for the inside and one out. That's three and three quarters by nine. So that's that perfect little layer around. And then again on the inside. Okay, so that's it. Know what your size of your envelope is. You can also make your um, slimline cards any narrow size you would like in length and all of that, but you then either need to make envelopes or find envelopes that are the right size. And since I had all these at home, I'm using this envelope. So that's how I started. So let's go ahead and make this sensational slimline card. I'm so excited. This is such a trend going on right now. It's amazing. So I'm going to take the thank you. Thank you for all that you are stamp. It's a nice large one, so I know it's going to go well with my card. And I want to do my stamping first because if I stamp my image crooked, I want to turn my paper over. So then for this piece of designer series paper, I also cut that at three and three quarters wide so that it covers. And I came up to five. And that's how that worked. 
Then the other thing I did is I took a piece from what I cut off for this so that I could make a little band going across here like so. So I'm gonna just lay that like that so I can see where that is. And then I'm gonna bring up my Misty Moonlight. I'm using the Misty Moonlight um, ink as well as the base of my card. It's interesting because Misty Moonlight is not a color that it kind of coordinates with all of the colors in the designer series paper, but um, Seaside Spray is. And so I like that I can bring this deeper color um, to that. And so this is where I'm going to stamp my greeting right in this corner. Oh, that's perfect. It's straight, it's bold and beautiful. All right. So that just means I have some quick things to do here. I don't know what it is, but slimline cards have just become very, very popular. And I have to say, it's kind of a nice change, you know, from um, standard traditional A2 size cards. You know, it's kind of fun when you get something out of the box, you know, special folds and fancy folds and, and all things like that. Very um, interactive cards are always fun. I'm a pretty big traditionalist, though, when it comes to cards. I tend to kind of stick to my A2s, and so I'm stretching out having some fun with the slimline cards. And they're going to be sensational. I've got two for you. They're going to be very quick and easy since I'm using this beautiful um, designer series paper. All right, now the other thing I'm going to do on this is put a little tape here because I'm going to bring in my dotted tool ribbon. And I'm going to come all the way around. Make sure my dotties are on the top because the little felt dots are um, on the one side. It's interesting, I've got a little piece there that's not the same width as all the others. That's interesting. All right, so this is gonna come across here. I just love this dotted ribbon. If you've watched my videos before, you know. And if you haven't watched my videos before, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you would, and if you don't want to miss any of my videos, which I have every Sunday, Wednesday, and Fridays, um, hit that bell so you'll get those notifications. I'd appreciate that. Now, I've done my first knot, and now I'm going to turn my cardstock upside down, holding those ends, and now I'm going to make my bow. What this does, this helps to take the tail of your bow and have them face the right direction. So your bow will not be upside down. And oopsies, oopsies, my fat little fingers did not grab that. Let's try it again. <laughs> the dotted ribbon is interesting. Because those little felt dots stick up, when you go to make bows, you can fight with it a little bit. But uh, it just, this ribbon makes the best bows. And I think it's because it's tool and it is, so light and airy, it doesn't take over and become too much of a focal point on your card. So I'm gonna have that like that. See how fun that is? And just kind of spread it apart here. Lovely. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my card and then I'll trim the tails. Come along, little doggy. Ah. Oh. I'm so excited about these products. It's always so fun to bring something new into, into your stamping um, supplies. You know, we've had the annual catalog, which has wonderful, fantastic things, but it's always fun to get a fresh, springy kind of thing to get excited about. And these products are wonderful. All right, now what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to take this particular piece of designer series paper, and let me show you the beautiful, beautiful dies. This is the Butterfly Wings dies, and this is the large one that goes along with the stamp. The Butterfly um, Brilliant stamp is one large stamp of many butterflies, and when I put this on my designer series paper, this particular sheet, 
it lines up perfectly with these um, six butterflies. And I'm going to be running that through the die cut machine. What other dies do you have in this set? Let me show you what. So we have just some beautiful accent dies that are really cool. A couple little solid butterflies and then these detailed wings butterflies. And you can, um, oh, I would love just die cutting these out with vellum and putting them over the butterflies. It would just be stunning for, uh, you know, 3D effects. So it is a very, very large die set that has many dies in it. And I am going to then die cut out. Oh, that's not going back in the bag. Let me just set it over there. I like quick and easy. Um, I am going to use the butterfly stamp today because, my goodness, why not? But I love that this instantly gives me six beautiful butterflies. So I'm going to just go right next door and run this through the machine. I'll be right back. You'll hear it rolling through. It lines up just perfectly. Here we go, I'm so excited. So I bring this right back over. There it is. Look at that. Is that just not exciting? I am so excited, you guys. I have six beautiful butterflies to use now. Just like that. They have been all beautifully colored and shaded, different uh, intensities of color. I just love them. I could just do that all day. And you get eight sheets of that particular piece of designer series paper. Because in the stack of designer series paper six by six, you always get eight sheets. So <laughs> just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. So let's take a look then. This is what I have. And then I'm going to use this beautiful butterfly. And I think I'm gonna put this one right here. And then there's this little butterfly right here. I think I'm going to put here. And then I've got this one. And I could put the, that one there. I could bring it down here close. I could have it here. I think that's it. There it is. How beautiful is that? Let's go ahead and put these down. I'm just going to use my mini glue dots. Now we have to get out our butterfly stamp set and see what we're gonna do on the inside of that card. Now I'm just gonna put one mini glue dot. What this does, I'm not using my stamp and seal because that would really press it down and make it just look um, two dimensional. But by putting the mini glue dots, it acts as a bit of a dimension. So it helps to kind of raise that butterfly up just a little bit, but it also leaves those wings free. So just a couple dimensionals. You don't want um, real, real high like you would with the regular dimensionals. So you want just a little dimension. There we go. So that is so fun on the front of this card. That is sensational. There's one sensational slimline card, but wait, there's more. <laughs> and now I have these three butterflies for the next sensational slimline card. All right, I'm gonna bring this piece here. I'm gonna bring my stamp set back over. Now what I've done, because this is one large stamp, I went ahead and put my adhesive on, but then I just put it into the case. And I'm gonna bring my sponge brayer. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring some ink onto my sponge brayer going one direction on the pad so I'm getting it all around that brayer and now I'm just going to run over my butterflies here. I could go really deep on part of it. I can then I can then if I'm doing a whole sheet go to a different color and come down. But that's all I need to do, a little bit of color on that. I love those little sponge brayers. 
when you order the sponge sprayers, you get a couple of the little sponges and things like that. Now I'm just going to come and lay this right down the center. Give a little bit of running my fingers along. I just kind of want a soft, cloudy look, kind of like the designer series paper, kind of mimic that. Let's see what we got. There it is. Look at how soft and pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I love this. Absolutely love this. I don't know about you, but I think that is phenomenal. All right, let's go ahead and get this on the inside of our card. There we are. Slimline, sensational. And I love, look at that, that misty moonlight and how pretty the layer of these butterflies are right here. How nice is that? So there we are, sensational slimline, card number one using the butterfly brilliance. Ooh, very nice. Ooh. Okay, let's take a look at our second card. Our second sensational slimline card is, again, using just our misty moonlight. Again, cut at um, our measures for our envelope, being cut at four by nine and a quarter, scored at, oh, I'm sorry, cut at eight. Oh, my goodness. Steered you wrong. Eight by nine and a quarter, scored at four. Okay, I will, again, have these measures on my blog. So then what I did is I took one of my favorite pieces, this little cotton candy one, has the big butterflies. Oh, I gave up one of the butterfly sheets that cut, die cut out, you guys. I know I did it. I gave one up so I could have this side. It's so sad. That just means I need another pack of paper. No worries. <laughs> but I had cut these at, oh, I don't even remember my measures. You'll find it in my blog. Just click the link below. But what I decided is this slimline sensationally is going to go this way. I have my piece that goes on the inside of the card again. And this one with my layer, again with my basic white. I guess I didn't need a layer at all, but these are going to lay out across just for some fun um, things there. So I'm just going to start with some adhering down to the card because this one is really quick and easy. Um, I believe that these measures was three and a quarter by two and a half. Pretty sure that's what that was, but I'll put it down in the description. And then all the details are on my blog. There we go. And now when I'm, oop, now what I'm gonna do with this one, with these pieces here, is I'm gonna go ahead and put my adhesive. I'm gonna put then the center piece down. Put that right in the center. That helps me then know on either side. I can space them out quite a bit if I want, or just have a little bit of space. And I'm gonna opt for just a little space. There we are, and the last one. There, now all we need are our die cut butterflies that we did. And we are gonna have some butterflies taking the stage. And am I gonna have all three? I think I'm gonna save one for the inside and I'm gonna just do the two butterflies here, I think. I think, I think, I think, right? There's always so many to decide and choose from. Oh, I think I like that right there. And now I need a greeting. So let's take a look at our greetings here. I'm going to put my greeting right along here. Hmm, wishing you the best year yet. Oh, that'll be good. Wishing you the best year yet. That'll be fantastic. We've had such a struggle of a year. Things are slowly starting to look up. And so this will be a great sentiment. Just going to grab my block, deciding on this one. I won't, uh, I won't put my adhesive onto it. 
first time I'm using this one, but I will ooh, get it straight on my block. That was just not good. All right, so let's get our Misty Moonlight. I'm going to set these aside because I want to do my greeting. Make sure this is straight. It is. So I'm going to bring this down. And this is going to go right. Here. There we are. Wishing you the best year yet. Love it. I need my mini glue dots. And this large butterfly is going to get three glue dots because it has a wide wingspan and it needs a little bit more, more stability there. Oh, I, I love this uh, Magenta Madness one. It's so pretty. So then this one's gonna come down close to the bottom right there. And then my other little yellow one's gonna come peek right there, kind of just a little cascading. That one just needs one. Kind of a, on the corner there, that's really fun. So there we go with that. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the inside of my card. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before is to use a bit of that misty moonlight with my foam brayer. Go ahead and brayer it up a bit. Now I'm just gonna be getting a, the top part of the butterflies and that's okay. I'm gonna bring my card and I'm not gonna go up very far, so I'm just gonna get the first couple of butterflies right along that top right along there. I'm gonna do it again. And the more that you use the brayer, the darker that the ink will be. And I see where I have my, my butterflies. There we go. We have this fun butterfly layout going on in here. There's a bit here on this one that missed, so I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to go again. I just want it to be perfect. So think about my first one. I'm even gonna go up a little bit higher. Burrow, that's working out good. One more. Want those butterflies to have the same intensity. I think I like this side better. We'll do the, ooh, we'll do the first side. I have gunk on my thing. Okay, let me clean this up here a minute. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, getting all messed up. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on the inside of our card. My stamp and seal. Oh, these products are just so nice. You can go as soft of colors as you want. You can go as bold of colors as you want. It'll be fantastic. I'm going to grab my, my bucket of gems because I think I would like to have a bit of gems on, on my card. Looking for my little in color dots. because they are so fun. All right, this one screams that it needs some embellishments, doesn't it? This is getting sensational. Now, what do I want to bring out in this card? Do I wanna bring out my pinks, 
my misty moonlight. It's got to be the misty moonlight. He's coming out today. I'm going to put one down here, right here. Going to cup up over here. And another one right here. So they're kind of floating away with those butterflies. That is sensational. So wishing you the best year yet. I noticed on my other card, let's bring me the other sensational slimline card, because I think this too could use some fun. And I think on this one, well, I think I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight again. Can you believe that? I'm sticking to my beautiful Misty Moonlight. I'm going to put one down there. I'm going to put one over here, kind of going up the way. And floating with those butterflies. Now, I did notice in my stamp set, I would like to do the inside of my first card. It says, thank you for all that you are. And then those beautiful butterflies. Then I can put in and every thoughtful thing you do. Yep, that will be very nice. The other one on the inside. So let's grab that stamp and our block. A very thoughtful thing that you do. Just take us one minute to finish out the inside of this one. It's upside down. And there we go. One more time. <laughs> Just need to be sure. Just need to be sure. I'm going to put this up high so you can write your note. And the thoughtful thing you do is kind of the mimicking the outside of the card with the sentiment being up top. So there it is. Well, you guys, these are my two sensational slim line cards. Um, they're all the rage. They're trending so much. And it's fun. Go outside the box. Do something different. And so I would just want to remind you that all of the Butterfly Brilliance products are available now to you. Don't miss out. This designer series paper you must have. You must, must, must have the bundle. In fact, just get the, just get the whole um, Brilliance collection. And you know you still have time to register for my um, March Madness Stamp Camp. And this particular suite of products at um, $71, you can purchase that. Use the hostess code that I have down in my link for that. And you will receive the wonderful supply packet for free. I will send you that, which has a quarter package of pattern play designer series paper. It has pool party sheer ribbon in it. It has the playing with patterns resin dots and supplies for five cards for during the fantastic stamp kit camp that is scheduled for the 27th of March. So let me know what you think. Which, which particular direction do you like in this slim line. Leave a comment if you would. I'd appreciate to hear what you think. Also, remember, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos on Sunday, Wednesdays, or Fridays. I appreciate you watching. And um, until next time, happy stampin'.